So about three weeks ago in my last video, I did an unboxing of my new 5-inch drone that could carry a GoPro and give me really nice looking cinematic FPV video. In those three weeks, I still have yet to be able to fly that drone because I don't even have the controller for that yet and it's still on back order. So in the meantime, I just want to fly something just so I can capture some kind of video and practice my FPV flying. Now, a GoPro is a pretty light and small camera. My GoPro Hero 5 here comes in at 117 grams. It's pretty hard to beat that. Of course, there are a couple cameras out there that are smaller and are lighter, such as the Insta360 Go, and I used to have one until I crashed and broke that camera. So that's why I'm pulling out this iPod Nano that I got back in 2010. This comes in at around 34 grams, which is far lighter than the GoPro and just a little bit heavier than an Insta360. Now this camera doesn't quite look as good as I remember it back in 2010, but I'm still pretty impressed. It's a 640 by 480p resolution video from a little iPod. But to give you an idea what that actually looks like, I'm just gonna set it up and show you. All the audio going to the iPod Nano is coming from my microphone. I think I actually ended up breaking the microphone on the iPod, so. So over here on the right, I have my main actual full frame mirrorless camera. And on the left, I have an iPod Nano. And here I have a package from Tamron. Tamron is a company that makes lenses. All the lenses I use are from Tamron for my cameras. And they sent me something, so I'm just gonna open it. They got a cloth. So they sent me a little bag that says Tamron on it and uh, a pin that says Tamron. So thanks for all the stuff, Tamron. So that's what an iPod Nano camera looks like. I'm sure everyone was dying to know. The real problem I have is strapping the iPod Nano to a drone. Now, I don't think many people are dying to strap their iPod Nano uh, from 2010 to a drone, so that's where I need to make some sort of mount. I already have some ideas, so I'm just gonna cut to a montage of me making everything, and then I'll be back when I actually have it working. So it's done. My iPod Nano mount on the drone, I finished building and I managed to get two flights in with the drone before I crashed and broke the iPod. So let me just show you what happened. So I did a first test flight just in the backyard, didn't go crazy high with the drone to make sure it would actually fly and it did, it worked okay. As I said before, there's no sound on these clips. The microphone was broken on the iPod even before I crashed. But that's okay, it would just be like buzzing or drone sounds. So in this first clip, I get the drone off the ground with the iPod attached to it. And I noticed that even though the iPod is much lighter than the GoPro, it still has a really hard time picking up and flying correctly. So if I tilt the drone forward just a little bit too much, the weight of the iPod still affected the drone a lot. So if I tilted the drone forward too much, it would nosedive into the floor, even at full power. Now the first flight was pretty good. Test flight, only hit the ground a couple times, but most importantly, I didn't break anything. The second flight is where I destroyed the iPod. Here, I'm taking it over the house because I just want to get an aerial view with the iPod. I really want to see what that looks like. And then up here, I lose my video signal and I can't see anything, so I just drop the drone back down and I land on the roof. So that was a pretty bad crash, so bad that the iPod Nano no longer turns on anymore. So yeah, so I guess that's why no one straps iPods to drones. The beginning of this video was recorded so long ago that I've since actually got in the controller for my 5-inch drone, and I've made a lot of changes to it since then. So hopefully soon I'll put out a video talking about what I've done to it and some of the things I've learned going up to a 5-inch drone. So that's been it for my iPod Nano experiment video. Thank you all for watching and making it to the end, and I'll see you in the next one.